this armored daredevil figure. Okay. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another SH Figure Arts action figure review on the Bandai Tamashi Nations Marvel's PS4 Spider Man video games anti ox suit Spider Man. If you're trying to get your SH Figure Arts, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, why don't you reach over and tickle that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Let's get those 1 million subscribers. Let's do it. And this is an exclusive figure. I've always been confused with the SH Figure Arts exclusives. I just know that they arrive in these little special mailers like this and they're a bit more expensive. So yeah, this is an exclusive piece. Not cheap. And we get an interesting packaging over here because we cannot see the figure inside. Usually there's a window for us to see the figure. So we cannot see it. You can see you get a Disney foil sticker right there. There you get your Tamashi Nation sticker quality right over there. And on the side you can see the anti ox suit Spider-Man. It says Game Reverse. And then on the back, you can see all these product shots over here. And then you can see the Game Reverse Antioxuit Spidey on this side. Not much more on the top, and not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> so we get this little survey sheet with a QR code right there. And then we also get this instruction sheet, which is pretty helpful. And we get all of these accessories over here. We get six pairs of interchangeable hands. And then we get four different webbings right over there. And then this little picking tool. And then this little piece right over here which is for plugging into the back of Spidey so that you could plug this into a stand, which he does not come with. And we've seen this feature before on the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man figures where you want to pick this off right here and make sure you do this over a table uh, don't drop this on the ground and you know you're gonna have to go looking for it because the other side of this is black and it's pretty hard to find so go ahead and use the picking tool or this end of the picking tool. There we go. That's working out nicely. And then you can go ahead and port this into the back like that. And there you can plug that into the stand, which I guess is helpful. You know, if you want to have something break, you'd rather have it be this piece instead of the figure itself. I love how the hands came out on this figure. They all have this little silver disc on the inside. And then you could see this gray color and the glossy black for the back of the hands. Now, when you switch the hands out, just take these little bracelets off or the web shooters off and put them off to the side you do not want to drop them so remove the hand and then just go ahead and take this off man it, it, you're going to be happier just moving that off to the side but yeah look at that that looks great i really like the detail on all of these hands uh, you get the relaxed hands like that uh, we also get web grabbing hands and then we have this other kind of relaxed hand which is weird it looks like it's supposed to be some kind of grabbing hand you know maybe for a cell phone or something but he doesn't come with that and of course you get the fisted hands uh, you get this small web Web shooter right here which has this nice pearlescent uh, glossy finish on it which I like it's pretty neat kind of hard to show off but it does have like a pearlescent kind of glossy uh, reflective uh, thing going on which is really neat I did snap this right here oh my goodness it's like the third video in a row I need sleep it's been a rough week man lovely Shirley the ones uh, had a temperature the last several days and everything and I've been uh, watching the kids uh, way more than usual and, you know, watching kids and, uh, you know, recording videos is not a good combo. Anyway, you get this new feature right over here, which I love. This is really cool. So you can take a web grabbing hand or a thumbs up hand and you want to sneak this underneath right here. So it's going to port in from the bottom and you want the squiggly part facing away from the hand as they've explained on the directions and go ahead and port from the bottom right here and then wrap around the top like that and then you don't want to cover the hole on the top because this guy is going to go right in there and, and you're going to port that in just like that and now you have this really cool uh, wrapped webbing around a fist which I just love I just think this is really cool so very cool creative idea from Tamashi Nations I like that a lot I just wanted to take a second to just dim the lighting a lot so you could see how the webbing pattern looks a little better, you know, you can see how it's got a little bit of a gloss to it, right? Definitely has some gloss, but I'm actually starting to think I put this on the wrong way because you can see this little notch right over here. It looks like that's supposed to run in to where this webbing is, but you know, when I did look at the directions, it did have the squiggly part facing away from the hand, but just trying it on the other way over here just to see maybe if it works out better one way or another. Yeah, I just have an easier time getting it around the hand going the other way, but this works out too. Yeah, so you can do it this way. Guess that works. I don't know. I like putting it on the other way. Easier. Uh, I just feel like it was just a whole lot better going the other way around. <laughs> 
How is my voice? Do you like my voice? I finally fixed it! Yay! But anyway, we get two head sculpts with this anti ox suit Spider-Man. You can see that we get the squinty eyes right here. Now, this suit has never been really my favorite suit. It's just like a rehealing uh, feature for its power, which I think is kind of lame, right? You get more life. If I remember correctly, that's what it is. Uh, but man, I didn't really like the design, and I'm not the biggest fan of it, but having the figure in hand actually makes me really like it like you can see right here the eyes look really good i love the gray mixed in with the black these seams look awesome i love how there's this little bit of a glittery thing going on in the black plastic so that adds this nice high-end quality to it looking at the back right here you can see that matted gray looks really good with that very very metallic looking black so that is very cool well it's not metallic looking black it just has this nice shimmer to it which is just really neat so i like that fairly clean yellow paint right here too that may be just us. Yep, it was. And then putting the other head sculpt on here, which I do like more. Uh, you can see that you have the bigger eyes. Tiny, tiny. Oh, no. I guess it's just the under part. Why does... It's a reflect... I don't know why it keeps looking like there's a speck bleeding over. You see that? That is so weird. It's not bleeding over, and now it is. It's not bleeding over, and now it is. It's probably just a reflection or something. But anyway, looks very good. I like this as well. So I'm very pleased with that. Is that dust? Yes, it is. Whew. And then I guess maybe there's a micro nick right here on this lens, but either way, I am really liking this a lot, man. Looking at the rest of this figure and all its shiny glory, ah, oh, man, this is awesome. What can I say? I just love how this came out. I love the metallic yellow that we're seeing over here. That looks great, except for that tiny little part right there. But other than that, I really do like it. And when you move up right here, you can see more spider. That looks really good. The matted gray with this black is just outstanding. I really like it a lot, man. Very cool looking figure. I, I just, I guess I like this figure more than I like the design. Or I didn't know I would have liked this design until I got this in hand. You know, I guess maybe it's like all these ribbed patterns right here that always threw me off. Or maybe the fact that yellow and black is such an off color for Spider-Man. We usually never see him like that. But this suit looks great. Now, I do like all these little silver bits right here. That is very impressive. I like that. I just don't like this section. Once again, SH Figure Art Spider-Man figures always have this. And it bothers me, especially when you get him in the dynamic poses. You have this butt flap piece that moves around, which I guess is helpful. Which is really weird seeing that shift up and down like that, you know. It's got a butt slider. But yeah, it's very clunky over here. I wish they had a system that was a lot more streamlined and just needed a lot less stuff. You can see the texturing over the crotch that looks really good and you can see these nice little yellow bits throughout I mean there's a lot of little details on this and it just looks really good uh, even though I have little gripes here and there this was very well executed and you could even see those details at the bottom of the feet right there which also doesn't have peg holes but that's to be expected with the figure arts so I really like the articulation on this figure. It works out great. I do have complaints though, but look how far he can move his head up. Whoa, that is awesome. Really digging that quite a bit. And you can move the head all the way down. You also get a neck joint, of course. So that's very cool. So with both of those joints, you can look down that much. And again, oh man, that's really awesome. Anyway, the head turns side to side. You get neck pivoting, no head pivoting, but the neck will pivot like that. And then we do get a butterfly joint, which allows the shoulder to move inward and it shifts into the body of the figure a little bit as well shoulder joint moves outward that much and down you can rotate a full 360 no bicep swivel that's my biggest gripe aside from the aesthetics is i wish we had a bicep swivel right there double jointed elbows then the wrist turns side to side and can move side to side or up and down depending on how you have that configured you have a diaphragm joint that turns side to side diaphragm pivot that much and he does crunch forward and back and then you have the waist swivel just a little bit a little bit of waist pivoting and with both joints moving forward he'll crunch that far forward you can see some gapage right over there i'm not happy with that and then you can move both joints backwards that far he does have legs that can move out that much and you can get him to kick all the way up and above the head so that's cool that's part of this whole system over here which is kind of neat you know what i mean i mean he'll kick all the way that far and you can move that butt sliding piece around which is still the funniest piece of articulation it's a butt joint i mean when have we ever seen a butt joint before anyway you do get this upper thigh cut right here it just moves inward not outward really and you get double jointed knees and then the ankles move down they move 
up only a tiny bit. I wish they could move up more than that. You can rotate them side to side. He does have ankle pivot and toe articulation. Now to measure out this anti ox suit Spider-Man figure, you can see that he is standing right at that six inch mark. And then here's the anti ox suit SH Figure Arts figure next to a couple other SH Figure Arts Spider-Man figures. We have our MCU Homecoming Spider-Man and our MCU Iron Spider. And of course, just due to the design, the anti ox suit is going to be a bit taller. So I'm really curious to see how this guy looks next to some Marvel Legends. And then for your Gamerverse comparison, we have our anti ox suit Spider-Man next to the advanced suit Marvel Legends Spider-Man. I do not have the SH Figure Arts advanced suit version. I'm going to just continue on collecting all the Gamerverse Spider-Mans that I just don't already have yet. I mean, these are great figures still, but yeah, having a whole bunch of doubles of the PS4 Spider-Man is just not a necessity for my collection. So yeah, if we get any more SH Figure Arts Gamerverse Spider-Man figures from SH Figure Arts, I will pick them up if they are the only ones making them. And then here's the anti ox suit next to the Mafex comic version one Spider-Man figure. And yeah, SH Figure Arts just scales down a little bit more so than this other import company. I wish they didn't do that. I wish these were the same exact height. And then here's the anti ox suit Spider-Man next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man. Hey, little brother. Hey, brother. Wow, that's a really cool suit. I like all the black that you have going on. It kind of reminds me of my suit a little... Wait! Oh, this suit's a rip-off! <laughs> no! Oh! <gasps> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to pay it forward and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And if you'd like to support this free content, please go ahead and check out the crowdfunding link in the description below. And this figure was a lot of fun. I gotta admit, man, I was very skeptical towards this thing. It was one that I really didn't want to pick up at first. I gotta say X-Man 87 is the one who really led me to it, really. Uh, so thank you so much, X-Man 87, for that. But this figure right here ended up being a lot of fun. I'm happy to have it. It is very expensive. It's just one of those expensive figures, but you know what? Once I got it in hand, I could see why it was awesome. I think it looks great. I really like it a lot. At the price point of around $100, Whoa, man, it's not for everybody. You gotta really love Spider-Man. You really gotta love that PS4 video game. But yeah, at that price point, I'm still giving this figure a sub rating of... I love it! Or it might be closer to 125. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think. So please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me on the social media on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Stardust. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Uh, posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, I'm sure Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.